Is this like, is this the final piece of the puzzle? Nearly. Are you controlling things from root to tip? Nearly. Yeah, you're talking manufacturer, production, distribution. It's almost well, sewn up, isn't we're it? Working, we're working hard on just delivering, and, uh, and this is, you know, we're not beholden yeah, to anybody. We're our own, we've got control of our own destiny. I know that you, you said, you mentioned earlier, you felt that the boxing public are being underserved. Is that the main motivation for you it, doing this? Well, I think it's a bit of a, I mean, you know, Sky, I want to get this straight, Sky, Sky Sports have done a brilliant job and still do a brilliant job for boxing. But the other channels haven't really have done boxing a disservice. Recently, you've got Channel 5 in, you've got a couple of good numbers for the uh, Tyson Fury shows. And you've also uh, had uh, prime time doing some pay-per-views, 15 quid a pop to watch some of the best fights in America. Um, we felt there's a niche market there. We feel that there's a, a real solid boxing audience, people who want to see fights. And that's how this sort of came about. And I think now boxing will be well served. I mean, we've got some cracking shows. We've done some deals with some, some of the best promoters in the world. You know, we've done deals with Golden Boy, with Salem Promotions, other, prom other American promoters that we're announcing next week. So it's going to be quite, a, you know, quite a, an interesting and, uh, and I think a, a really good time for a punter if you if you like boxing you, make, you mentioned other promoters is there room for other uk based promoters as well, well my sons have, have promoted they've got their own queensbury. little thing going mm -hmm. queensbury so they, they they're having their shows on yeah of course they, the fights are there you know it, it's a channel that's 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 you know that's there to to serve the british public and give them the best of what they can do you expect other promoters to follow suit you've always led the way we will see We'll see what happens, you know, we'll see what happens, you know. I'm, is there room in the market or have you stolen a march on them, really? Well, I've stolen a march because I've got to commit myself. I mean, mm. this is a big, big risk for me as well. And uh, and that's something I, you know, I, I've uh, never shied away from. Yeah, you mentioned, you know, you want to establish some numbers. Can you mention what type of numbers they are? Well, we know, we need, you know, the, the, the market research that we've had done shows that there is a core audience of 5 million and it can get anything up to 20 million, depending on the what, what the fight is. Um, we are looking, you know, we're looking, we're not going to run before we walk, but we think we'll get to fairly healthy numbers within the next few months. We're free to air for about six to eight weeks, right. and then we go to subscription. It's going to be ten, 10 quid a month, um, two live shows per week. Mm -hmm. That's eight live shows a month, plus the magazine program, the archive material, uh, news programs. Um, from a fight, from a promotion point of view, that's one pound twenty-five per promotion. It's cheaper than a pint of beer. Before you mentioned it in the press conference, I knew it wasn't your idea to mix martial arts. What if we reach the situation where the numbers, the viewing figures, surpass uh, what they do for our boxing show, for instance? Terrific! I'm an investor in the channel. I'll be highly delighted. So, from that point of view, then you've got a channel called Box Nation. Um, which could be showcasing more mixed martial arts one day well, than, well, than boxing. It, it, who knows what's going to happen? If, you know, if things that. evolve, but at the moment we know we know what our boxing audience is. It's a funny thing. There was mixed, mar mixed, mixed martial arts. UFC went up against the Floyd Mayweather fight last year mm. in the States. They they for some reason went head to head. Uh, Mayweather, I think, was about 1.2 million buys. Mixed martial arts. UFC done 200,000. Wow. Two different audiences. Yeah, no, definitely, Two definitely. So as my last question in there is, how does this deal impact on what you can offer your fighters and the deals that you offer your fighters well, in the future? Fight, fight, does it change the landscape? Uh, my fighters um, can, uh, have existing contracts with me. They'll get what's in their contract. Mm. And if this takes off, then hopefully they'll earn more money. Good luck, man. Cheers.